at the vet with Marley and Mozzie. They gotta get a heartworm check. Yes. <laughs> Mozzie, you keep panting so hard. It's stinking in here. It's stinking terrible with doggy breath. Yes, it is. <laughs> Mozzie gets very anxious when we come to the vet. He pants and pants and pants. Don't you, Mozzie? Yes, you do. Marley, he's just chilled out. He's so laid back. You're just a laid back schnauzer. Yes, you are, Marley. <laughs> Mozzie says, why are we here? It's just a heartworm check, Moz. No big deal. Just a little blood draw. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it's Friday morning. Gotta let the dogs out, because I just noticed it, was, it seemed kind of dark out. So I looked at my weather radar, and I think some thunderstorms are coming. So what time is it? It's about 7.30 in the morning. brighter on camera than it is in real life. Gotta get these boys out before it rains. I better go find Miggy. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> I tried to keep his cone off him <clears throat> uh, the other day and he started messing with his incision area on his hip again. So he's gotta have his cone on. Yep, you was a bad boy again, Ma uh, Max. Grant, you was a bad boy again getting your side. <clears throat> Sorry, my, I've been having horrible sinus troubles because it's been so hot and humid here and been having itchy ears, the headaches again. Um, humidity and heat is not my friend. I could never live down south in Florida. Let's see if Miggy's in here yet. Oh, here you are. Miggy? Grant going because he hasn't tried to do all his business yet. He pees and runs back up. Grant, you need to go try to do your business. Oh, here's Miggy. Come on, Miggy. You're a lazy butt. You're a lazy butt. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you're a lazy butt. All right. Let me try to get them to do their business. I got them out just in time. It's raining. It's raining, boys. Got you out just in time. Look at Marley thinks this is his new little stoop. Getting on my table to look out the window. <laughs> Marley, you're a bad boy. Yes, you are. You're a bad boy. Getting on my table. <laughs> I just had to share you guys. I'm eating eggs and toast. And I just had to share that. Look at There's no dogs around. <laughs> there's no dogs around. Nope. No kitties around even. I've been giving them scrambled eggs. A little bit of scrambled eggs with their dog food in the morning. So now I don't have an audience when I'm eating my eggs. It's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, I gotta go upstairs because I got the new Mozzie luggage tag that Emily had made because the other one's stitching wasn't quite right on the Z's. So I'm going to bring this upstairs to put with the luggage I have up here in the storage room. Yes, why are you up here? Why are you up here? You're not supposed to be up here. Oh, don't you dare cough something up on carpet up here. No. So this is my storage room here. Um, it used to have a little door on it, but I took it off. So the cats 
uh, their cat litter boxes are in here. Um, so I took it off so they could get in and out easily. Um, one day we hope to remodel this upstairs. It's just a, uh, let me back up here. Um, <laughs> Kitty's like, why are you guys up here in my domain? Um, it's just a finished attic space. This is where we had some water damage. We got the roof fixed. That's got to get painted. Um, and it damaged the carpet a little here uh, from leakage. But that's fixed. It's not leaking anymore. Thank goodness. But we're hoping to... Now, this is a big dream. I don't know if this will ever happen. But <laughs> we're hoping this side to knock this completely out and make this taller so you don't have to bend down um, and hit your head on the ceiling. Um, and then we can make that door a normal sized door. And then this here, you can see where it kind of cuts here. I'd like to have a door right here too with maybe like a little kitty door. What is going on? You think it's WrestleMania up here? Cause there's nothing up here. You think it's WrestleMania? This is the door that broke that goes to this other room over this way, but I don't want to show you in there because I have, I have some stuff in there I don't want to be seen. <laughs> I don't want it to be seen on camera. Um, anyway, so I was going to get the luggage out here because I have it stored right here. I have the one out that I showed you guys and the rest are still in the box and a lot of people were asking who they were made by. So I'm going to open up one of these boxes and see if I can, if I can find the uh, manufacturer of the little suitcases. Now they're actually battery organizers. There's foam inside of it. I'll show you when I get one out. There's foam inside of it so you can organize all your different size batteries. That's what it's actually for, but Emily thought it'd be so cute to take that out and use it as little suitcases, which I agree. So let me open one up and uh, let's see if we can find out the name. All right, guys, these boys are cracking me up being up here. They're like, this is all nice and new up here. We never up here. <laughs> They're not allowed up here because the cat boxes are up here. I took down the baby gate I had down there, and they don't come up here unless I'm up here, do ya? If I'm up here, you guys always think, oh, it's okay, mom's up there. But they don't come up here. I've trained them pretty good not to come up here unless I'm up here. Are you okay, Mickey? You got something caught in your throat? What's going on? All right, so I opened up a box, and here is the name of these little suitcases. Chameleon battery storage case. So that's it. That's what it actually is. Uh, let me show you the inside. So it comes with this like styrofoam so you can store your nine volts, your triple A, your double A, C's, D's. And then it has this little, um, I'm assuming this is like a battery tester to test if your batteries are okay. It comes with that too. So all you got to do is just take this. It's just like a piece of foam. Uh, take it out and then you got like a little suitcase a little suitcase for your pet so yeah I don't know if she got them on Amazon um, or where she got them from so you'll have to search on the internet um, I don't know if there's a website on here let me quickly glance yeah I don't see a um, I don't see a website um, but this is the name of it and I also wanted to share that I got in uh, some fencing for our trip. Um, I just ordered three of these exercise pins. And they're the black metal, kind of like crates are made out of, dog crates. Um, there's eight panels um, to each pen. And I have one already myself. So I'll have four of these total. Um, does that say the size? No. Not sure exactly the size, but I'm assuming four of them. I'm going to hook them onto each side of the deck, I'm thinking. I don't know. May change when we get there because I, I only have pictures of the um, cabin we're staying at. So I'm not totally for sure how we're going to set it up. But we're also going to get some snow fencing. Because if you remember in one of my past videos, I shared a photo of the deck area of the cabin. And there's a big open space in the railing. So I'm going to have to put some snow fencing there. Um, I'm assuming snow fencing because that'll be the cheapest. 
put that there because if they see a squirrel or a chipmunk, they'll just jump right through that. <laughs> so I'm still going to have to purchase that. And then we figure we can just cable tie it to the railings um, to keep it secure so they can't get through it. So, but this is the, what I decided to get. I think they were $32 each. So yes, quite expensive to buy them. So 90 some dollars, um, almost a hundred dollars probably with tax for the three, but we're not paying anything for staying at the cabin for the couple nights we're going to be up there. It's totally free. And since we can use this cabin, um, again and again, as long as it's available, um, year after year, I figured it's a good investment because if we stay up there again, I'll already have it. Um, and like I said, I think we have to pay $20 a night. I don't know if it's free or $20 a night. I can't remember. Um, so, so even if we stay two nights, it's 40 bucks, uh, to stay in the cabin. So I think we're staying three nights. Um, as long as my hus husband can take that much time off work, it's been really busy, um, with real estate right now here in Michigan. I don't know how it is in your state, um, but it's been really busy for him today and I, or this uh, past couple of months and I, I'm very happy because it was kind of slow uh, in spring, uh, which you think springtime would be a little bit uh, busier, but you guys brought a bully stick up. <laughs> yes, I have water storage over here on these shelves. Um, that's what I was, I wasn't trying to be secretive, but I didn't want to show like all my preps. Um, I think I mentioned in a video before that I was starting a three month food storage and, um, like hygiene products, everything you would need to live for three months if you couldn't leave your house. Well, now I'm working on a six month supply. So I just didn't want to, I just don't want to show everything that I got going on up here. <laughs> So, one, I don't want you to think I'm crazy, and plus you shouldn't show what you have. No, you don't want everybody coming to your house if there was a major problem. So, anyways, so that was my solution for some fencing. It comes with um, little uh, U-shaped stakes, too, to stake the fencing down. So, um, we're going to be real close to the boys, So they're, and whenever they're outside, we are right there. So, I don't foresee any problems, but I may buy some extra stakes. Uh, to keep it in place. And I probably just run to family farm and home uh, to get those, get some more stakes. We were going to use snow fencing, but then we'd have to buy poles and all this other stuff. And I just thought this would just be a better solution. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get myself downstairs. It's kind of warm up here. And I want to share a package I got in the mail. Um, and then I got to get clean in the house. Yes, I do. I'm doing some food prep. Yes. You guys ready to go back downstairs? I'm sitting at the top of the stairs. <laughs> you guys ready to go back downstairs? Yeah? All right, my daughter's calling. I better get going. All right, guys, so I'm going to hurry and show you my packages I got. Um, I did get a couple um, more donations for Mr. Grant's medical bills from his surgery. So thank you guys so much. Anybody who's been sending them in the mail, I've been sending thank yous back. So hopefully you guys have got my thank yous back in the mail. I'll be sending these ones soon. I really appreciate it. Um, and then, oh, I'm kind of flustered right now because my daughter, my daughter called when I was sitting at the top of the stairs there and she hurt her knee. So now, instead of cleaning my house, I'm going to be taking her to go get an x-ray of her knee. <laughs> she, they sent her home from work. So, okay, so Linda sent this toy for Mr. Grant. She said she bought one for her dog, Dusty, and he absolutely loves it. So, he told her he needed she needed to get one for Mr. Grant. She thought he could take this in his little house uh, and have his own little toy. So, yep, it's got a good... <laughs> Got a good squeaker. <laughs> so he will love this. Thank you, Linda. Um, and then we got a package. Oh, the boys are running in here. Package from Debbie and um, Sherry. And she sent a box of goodies again. They are so nice to my boys. Um, thank you, Debbie and Sherry. Um, she sent this for, Mr., uh, for Mr. Grant's dry eye. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um... She sent this toy for Mozzie. She sent me an email. Um, I can't remember exactly what the whole email said. Um, 
But she said that this toy kind of reminded her of Mozzie. And we always think Mozzie looks like a koala bear too. So <laughs> this is so nice and soft. Um, and then they sent this crackle ball. Um, I thought this was kind of interesting. The inside of it makes a crackle noise. Milo and Miggy are going to love this. Magnum probably too. And then we've got a toy sheep. Let's see, it says silly. Silly sound equals more fun. Oh yeah. They're gonna love that. Here comes Mozzie. Mozzie loves the silly sound toys. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna love that. Um, and then we have another one of these. It's a little bit bigger than that green ball they love. Oh, they're gonna love this. And then this I thought was so funny. Look at these. You know how my husband loves to sit outside and smoke his cigars? These are some cigar dog toys. <laughs> I showed them to my husband. He thought it was awesome. You must have found these on Amazon, maybe? You guys all have to let me know. Look at this. <laughs> this is, yep. This is so funny. I love it. So now they got two cigar toys. <laughs> yes, I'll give you guys your toys in a minute. I got to share them first. Okay, and then this one is called a crinkle monkey. My boys are so spoiled by everyone. You guys are so wonderful sending them toys. Oh, it's got like crinkle noise in the arms and the legs. They'll love that. Uh, they'll be tugging on that. Oh, look at this. Look at this big long toy. Great squeakers. It says invincible squeakers. Keep squeaking even if punctured. That's good. Okay, I'm probably driving all your guys' dogs crazy squeaking these toys. Oh, and then we have a I squeak bone. Oh yeah, this week they'll love this. This is a great toy for outside. It won't get ruined in the weather. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, you guys, all of you guys who watch the videos and send the boys gifts, you guys are so sweet to my boys um and i really appreciate it um <laughs> this this i just if you have to watch my videos to know to get my boys a cigar dog toy oh my goodness so funny all right guys i gotta get going i was hoping to share a little bit more today but let me get my phone so i can videotape the boys while i'm talking hold on yeah, I was hoping I could share a little bit more today, but now I've got to run my daughter um, up to the urgent care uh, to get an x-ray on her knee. So, yeah, that kind of puts a kibosh on filming uh, the rest of the day. So, all right, guys, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, hope some of you are staying cool. I think it's supposed to stay hot and humid here for the next couple days still. I'll just be staying in all weekend. I've got to, um, look at, they always, they always mess up my rug. Look at, you got a toy that you were sent the other day. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I saying now? They always distract me and I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, I think I'm going to stay in all weekend. I think I'm going to start grooming dogs, um, and get them all cleaned up for our trip. All nice looking and all shaved down, toenails clipped. Um, get them looking all handsome for our trip. So I think that's what I'm going to do this weekend. Just groom dogs. So, all right, guys. Hope everyone has a great weekend. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.